hello my people welcome back to our another video guys this video is about rank math seo html sitemap this is a complete tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create html sitemap in your wordpress how to create a html sitemap page and how to display that particular page into your wordpress website footer section in html sitemap I will also show you how to uh, set up how to enable or disable your HTML sitemap for different post type like post pages product landing pages categories everything is included in this video so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel so you don't miss any latest video updates so let's get start this video so before we start this video we have to require rank math seo plugin once you already set up your rank math seo plugin we will go to dashboard section in modules in module we will scroll down to sitemap you will see option for sitemap we will enable this sitemap option after that we will go to sitemap setting you will see sitemap setting in the rank math options we will click on sitemap setting after you click on sitemap setting we have to visit this next option number two option html sitemap you have to enable html sitemap here so for now this is disabled you have to click enable after that this will ask you to display uh, to choose display format either you can choose this short code into your pages to display html sitemap or you can click here page when you click on page you have to choose your sitemap html sitemap page for now we don't have any html sitemap page we will first create our html sitemap page for that we will go to pages we will click on add new page click on add new page so here we will name it html sitemap html sitemap that's all okay after that you have to publish this option and pages click on publish and this html sitemap page will be published right away and next step i will show you how to make this particular page as your html sitemap page as you can see our html sitemap page is now live okay the next step is we will go back to rank math seo plugin and i will visit again to sitemap setting option now we have already html sitemap page we already built that page now we will click again here option html sitemap now we will scroll down to display format in display format we will choose page here we just create new page name html sitemap we will choose that particular page when you click select page you have to enter minimum two character I will enter here HTML so this will find your page we just publish so we have now HTML sitemap click on that so we already choose HTML sitemap page next we have short by we will choose publish date if you want to show dates in HTML sitemap you can enable this option 
This will show published dates for each post and pages. Next you have item titles. In item title, if you want to choose basic title, you can choose item title. Basic title means basic title of the post or page. SEO title, if you already set SEO title, meta titles for any uh, particular pages or, or post, then you can choose SEO title. You can choose any option here. After that, click save changes. Okay, now we have successfully saved our setting. You can see here under the page section. Now Rank Math provide us link for our HTML sitemap. You can directly click from here. This time this will display your HTML sitemap here. As you can see, we have HTML sitemap. Downside we have a HTML sitemap for the post. And you will also see the date because we choose date, publish date, right? When you keep scroll down, you have a HTML site map for pages as well, static blocks, products, categories. You have site map, HTML site map for each post type. So if you want to choose, if you want to, uh, if you want to choose post type, but type what post type you want to enable sitemap or disable sitemap if you want to, if you don't don't want to show this particular like static block if you don't want this to display in your html sitemap you can enable or disable these things okay so for that we will go to option here downside post type in the post type click on post when you click on post you will see include in html sitemap so post will be included in html sitemap next we have pages if you want to include pages your wordpress pages into html sitemap then you have to enable html sitemap option same here to land landing pages in my case, I don't want to show my landing pages. I will disable HTML sitemap. Slides, I will disable this. Static block, I will disable as well. Project, I will disable. But for the product, I want to enable HTML sitemap. You have to look which type of sitemap, HTML sitemap you want to enable or disable. In text monies, there is a category section. If you want to show categories in HTML sitemap, then you also have to enable this option. Same here in the tags, portfolio categories, brands. In your case, your uh, dashboard might be a little different or post type might be different. Depends on your business, depends on your WordPress website structure. You might have some other option here. You have to look at what type of post type HTML sitemap you want to enable or disable. After you've done all the settings, click save changes. Okay, so now we have already saved all the changes. Okay, now let's check out refresh upper page. Now you will see there will be no any static block option because we disable static block from the sitemap. If I refresh, we have a post pages products only also category because we disable static block option here. We don't want to show HTML sitemap for static blocks. Okay, now next step how we can display our sitemap into our WordPress footer. For that, you have to go to option appearance, click on appearance and menus. The first step here, 
first of all you have to choose where you want to display your HTML sitemap. You have to choose your menu. In my case, I don't yet have footer menu. But you, if you already have here footer menu, you can just choose that footer menu, particular menu here. And in the pages, click view all and you will see HTML sitemap page like that. The first one click add to menu so this will be added to your footer section make sure you choose footer menu in menu selection so i hope you like this video i please request please like share and subscribe my youtube channel so you don't miss any future videos about rank math thank you so much